One of the reasons that I came to MIT three years ago um, and left uh, the beautiful sunshine of the Bay Area was, um, was because of the culture here, because of the, the, the men's imanus paradigm that is in the blood here at MIT, which is um, to work on both the understanding and the practical side at the same time and to work uh, on, on ideas and concepts that are relevant to industry. And what that means um, is, is that uh, a partnership with, with, uh, with industry is, um, is essential, right? If that's your mission, which is, is my mission, is to have the greatest impact uh, possible um, on technology, on the world, um, then uh, partnership, close partnerships with industry is, is crucial, right? And, and that's something that, I, that uh, happens here at MIT in a way that I have not seen at any other institution. Um, and so, uh, so, so for me, it's, it's always a welcome uh, opportunity to uh, interact, engage with, and, and when it makes sense, uh, partner with industry uh, collaborators on problems where there's really a sort of synergistic goal where, where I can work on the problem uh, in my lab and make progress on, say, um, understanding some, some key bottleneck. Um, but in order to show whether that understanding has any relevance or not, there, there has to be a partner on the other side who can actually uh, uh, help to, uh, to explain to me what, the, what those bottlenecks are and what kind of difference or relevance it can make. And then ultimately, um, actually make it. So, um, so I see these kinds of close partnerships as absolutely essential to the, the kind of research I want to do. So in my work we, we uh, spend about uh, uh, sort of two parts to one computation to experiment. Um, and, but I should say that uh, the, the calculations we do for materials that say uh, we don't make in my lab are still uh, ones that I, I find uh, colleagues, experimentalist colleagues or, or companies to partner with to try to make them because I don't like uh, working on problems unless I feel that they can have uh, an impact and relevance. So we work on, um, on a sort of range of materials, some of which we make in our experimental lab and some of which we partner uh, with other groups or with uh, uh, industry to, to, to work on the experimental part. Uh, you know, in my mind, uh, the, the balance is really, the, the, the combination of experiment and theory is really critical, um, and there's a tight loop between the two. Um, and in my mind, that really helps accelerate discovery and, and, and sort of the pace of, of understanding and, and, and discovery um, and, and innovation and therefore impact. Um, and, and I should say, you know, the approach is that, uh, that I take is that, uh, you know, there are some things you can compute really well and some things uh, that are harder to compute and there are some things you can do experimentally really well and, and some things that are harder and, and so we, you know, if it's going to be easier to do something experimentally, like say take a week, certain kind of measurement say, or characterization, whereas it would take six months in the computer, then of course we, we try to, to balance that and do that in experiments. So, so the idea is to use the strengths of both, connect them together, and have a, a really accelerated process. One company came to me and, um, and was interested in, in uh, working on uh, next generation solar cell technology uh, based on quantum dots. And there are a lot of reasons why that's an exciting technology, but, uh, but the efficiencies are stuck at four or five percent. And so in, unless we can increase the efficiencies of these quantum dot solar cells, um, uh, they're not going to really have much impact. So again, we go back to how much impact can we make um, with our science and engineering. Um, and, and the beauty in this, in this partnership is, so, so now we have a, a program uh, with this uh, company where in, in our labs, in my lab and, and several coll other colleagues here at MIT, we are uh, literally uh, designing the ligand chemistry and the quantum dots and the, the synthesis and characterizing these films in a way that um, that brings all of our expertise to bear on the problem, um, and while at the same time we actually have um, engineers from the company working together with us in the labs, 
and we have weekly meetings with, with them um, and uh, they report back to the company headquarters and, and the discussion, the full loop between what is important uh, on the company side and what would be, say, a direction that would be uh, possible or not. So, so literally sort of like decision trees comes back um, and influences what we do all the way at the scale of the atom, right? And that sort of full cycle, um, again, it's, 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 uh, it's what I'm passionate about because it's what I feel will allow us to make the most impact the most quickly. Um, So in this case, and, and that's another thing, you know, the, the culture at MIT is so interdisciplinary. There are no barriers. There are, there are no boundaries. There's just, there's just hard problems that we like to solve, right? And, and how can we solve them? Um, and so, um, and so in, in this particular case, this quantum dot solar cell uh, program, we, uh, we, we sort of talked uh, about the problem. We, we met with the company a number of times, and then we put together the right team. Right, um, and that involves um, uh, my group in material science uh, and engineering. It involves a group in uh, in electrical engineering, and it involves another group in chemistry. And and it turns out that that's the right um, uh, team to tackle this problem.